Hi, welcome to online digital marketing training. In this video, I'm explaining about Facebook ad strategy. So when you made your mind to promote your product on the Facebook with a different kind of ads, then uh, definitely you should have a strategy. First build up a strategy, then only go for the ads. Blindly, if you run the ads, you can't get the good results anyway. So first of all, create a strategy. I'm going to explain in detail about the strategy and few more de details. Before that, I'll suggest you to go to YouTube type ODMT. This is my channel. Click on that where you will be finding all my videos. Many students are asking me questions how to find that video, SEO video. So I created playlists separately. So digital marketing videos, Google ads, SEO, web designing, and uh, different social media videos also. Playlist I'm adding anyway. So you can find it. If you already subscribed, you'll be getting a notification. If not, Please subscribe and click on the bell icon at the same time if you like would like to take the trainings come back to odmt.in and uh, fill your details either classroom or online training you can take apart from that i'm also selling my videos through e-learning and uh, the benefit of e-learning see all my videos i upload on youtube then why people go for e-learning if you go for e-learning all videos will be given and a lifetime all the videos new videos will be added to the e-learning portal and you will be having a dedicated support. What are the questions you have? A team will be supporting you. Apart from that, you'll be getting one website and live project will be given to you. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you. Now, before I explain this, first of all, think about your creative. Creative is very important. So let's show you a few of the ads, which we see here, are some of the, ads which we see in the feed okay see this is the lark this is the sponsored ad it's coming see the creator is very good now if you're the newbie you don't know how to create the ad the best way to do is start observing on the facebook spend two to three hours and make a note of what is this what is the text they mentioned how is their image what is the call to action then go to another facebook ad so the best way to learn is observe the advertisers, how they're doing. That is the best way. Anyway. Now these people are experts. They're spending a lot of time on the creatives and the push it. You don't have to copy paste them and observe them and come up with your own ideas. But if you didn't find any of your competitor over here, what you can do is go to your competitor page. Okay. Uh, Ajuda, this is your competitor. Click on this, go to your computer page, scroll down. There is an option called uh, page transparency. Earlier, this, this page was, this option was not available, but due to some loss, they, they're showing everything. So it's clearly mentioned that this page created on 4th February. And uh, if you click, clear information. Page created on 4th Feb, page name has not changed. And good thing is you will also find whether they are running any ads on there. This page is currently running ads. If you go to ads library, you will see their creative text, complete library you will see. It's very good. See, these are all the ads is running. These are all the sponsored ads only. And uh, almost all the four campaigns are running. I've been to another uh, advertiser also. This is Vedantu, so he's also running. See the creative, how he's making, and what is this text? So many ideas you'll be getting from your competitors and uh, other advertisers. So spend much time on this because you're going to the customer with the help of the ad only. So you have to uh, spend a lot of time on the creatives, which is very important, and the call to action, okay? Once it is done, now let's go for the strategy. So Facebook ad, it can be anything, whether it is a brand awareness, page like, website visit, lead generation, or catalog sales. Okay. So main motto is drive them to the landing page. Suppose that you selected website visits. Obviously, they're coming to a landing page, right? Make sure that landing page is very clear and you're capturing the name, email ID, and contact number. Okay. But whenever customer clicked on your ad, not everybody might take action over there. 
So some people might be filling the form means they are converted. Some people might not convert. They didn't take any action on that one. Assume that uh, someone click you've been to your e-commerce website and someone converted. Someone not converted. If they're converted, no problem. Whatever the amount you spend on the Facebook ad, you got the better uh, ROI return on investment. But if they're not converted, what are you going to do it? That is the reason for the first day itself, whenever you created a <coughs> Facebook page and uh, you're about to run ads, <clears throat> make sure that you create a pixel pixel is very easy way to create a pixel I'm going to show you the benefit of uh, creating a pixel in the next video I'm going to show you how to create the pixel and uh, different options as of now I'm going to show you <clears throat> see this is my pixel already it's working fine and uh, because of the pixel code it's triggering it's giving a lot of information. So how many page views, how many leads you got it, how many view content, everything I'm getting over here. Okay. And at the same time, the conversions also I can find. So here leads, total 18 leads. And what is the revenue we got also we're finding. So it is mandatory without tracking the details, without pixel, if you're running Facebook ads, means you're wasting your money. So make sure that definitely you add a pixel code to your website. In the next video, I'm going to explain about that. <clears throat> or else uh, in the below the video, I'm going to add the description, uh, the link, go through that. Now people not converted with the help of custom audience, create a separate audience. Whenever you first create a Facebook ad, whom you're targeting a new customer. So based on the age, gender, place, you might have target the vast number of people. But now, when you show your ad to 20,000 people, assume that 1,000 people interacted and 10 people converted and remaining people not converted. So they are interested on your ad, but they're not converted due to a number of reasons. You should be able to track them. So with the help of custom audience, you keep track of the people who not converted. Now, next time, when you want to run the ads to these people only, create ads. That's very good. Repeatedly show the ads, but next time when you do when you retargeting this custom audience, make sure that your ad should be some value. Tell them something like 10 to 10 percent discount, or else create emergency like offer valid only for two days in such way, so that there is a possibility customer will take an action. So when you first target a Facebook ads to the vast audience based on the uh, demographics, age, place, and interest. And after of that, some people convert, people not converted, people who were not converted uh, <clears throat> through the pixel, you will be creating a custom audience. This is one. Next, you have a very good budget and uh, you want to reach more people. <clears throat> With the help of custom audience, you can create a lookalike audience, guys. Now, imagine that uh, uh, there are some people who showed interest on your product. Facebook have an algorithm in such a way because of their artificial intelligence. Similar kind of people, whatever the place, you can create a lookalike audience. In such a way, you are going to more people who are likely to convert. That is called a lookalike audience. I'm going to show you again practically how to create a lookalike audience. Now, to know whether they are converted or not converted with the help of conversion tracking, mm -hmm. you are doing. So I'm simply telling the once you started creating a page before you going for the ad. So go to ads manager. First thing you have to do is pixel creation. Second, there are options called event creation also. That is also very important. Why events creation important means you want to know on which places people clicking. Now see when it comes to ODMT website, by default one, one event is Customer came to this website, one event triggered anyway. Now customer fill the form, pin to thank you page, this is one more event. But apart from that, what I did is, to know their behavior, I created five more links here. Five reasons to learn digital marketing, career growth, frequently asked question. And, and each one of them, I created the event. Someone clicked here, one event will be triggered. One event will be triggered. I was trying to observe how many people are clicking them. Now, when you see here already people subscribe button click clearly mentioned count is 130. 
so individual buttons individual videos also you can count with the help of this pixel and event so make sure that you do it pixel and event creation third once you run the campaign wait for two to three days and create custom audience okay event creation third create ad targeting audience relevant audience again how to target relevant audience it's a very big topic anyway and based on the interest age demographics do it okay after that wait for one week once you've done one week people started interacting right then create a custom audience create a custom audience in this custom audience whom you targeting existing customers why i ask you to wait for one week because within one week people will come some people convert some people will not convert for those people you're creating a custom audience at the same time create a lookalike audience also to expand to more people sixth next time create ads targeting custom audience and look alike audience now you targeting these customers again mean this is going to be a remarketing campaign so that is definitely you'll be getting very good sales over here obviously retargeting ads will be less expensive as compared to the normal one okay and uh, make sure that you are tracking all of them conversion tracking make sure that conversion tracking at this step only okay let me add over here pixel and conversion tracking right and after that check your analytics that's it guys so these steps if you, if you follow definitely your campaign is going to be success and uh, one more thing i'm telling you uh, to explain this i'll be using the good ad example uh, most of the people run ads for two days small investors advertisers i recommend you to run the ad for 30 days this is only profitable than the two days whatever the budget is i'm going to tell you how it will work so let's see godaddy and if you want to buy some hosting uh, what are their plans and what is their marketing strategy you see here and uh, you want to buy a hosting here and you want to go for wordpress hosting see here there are different plans here 99 229 249 they said that 99 rupees per month so obviously it's very cheap you think that i want to go for this but here actual technique is there when you select 99 by default he is asking to go for 36 months i will be giving you for 99 rupees when you take for 36 months not for one month and when you want to take for 24 months they'll be charging you 199 per month when you going for 12 months 249 when you go for one month they charging 449 so he is the loser actually got it when you take for more months only getting a good discount here also same guys if you one run for one or two days definitely facebook will charge you more but if you go for a longer definitely campaign performs well you end up with a less amount as of now in facebook ads if you see 90% of the people are advertisers are the big advertisers they are running for continuously one month to two months they says that my cost per engagement cost per conversion is very cheap 3 rupees to 4 rupees and many people comment to their videos that my cost per conversion is 120 rupees 130 rupees what might be the reason the reason is this only you run the ads only for 2 to 3 days whereas those people running the ads for the continuously because of that what happening the same ad the same product they'll be reaching to the person again and again after 7 to 8 days they're taking the action on that one so as i mentioned in the previous video okay one second
right let me show some ads again now see linkedin ad is coming anyway so in linkedin we know it anyway now see linkedin is a brand how it became brand they run many ads to us number of time thousands of times now we remember the product now it's become a brand yeah salesforce also you know salesforce these are the big advertisers upgrade also you know no how upgrade become famous because they run the ads continuously that's why it's become a brand skill share now now this guy if i if i click on this and it didn't buy the product what is going to do is because of the pixel is there he keep on target me one time i might not remember skill share but 20 times i keep on showing me definitely I remember skill share what is this skill share there is a possibility i will take action on that one so this will work so all of you try to do this okay and uh, dynamic creative there is an option uh, in facebook recently launched uh, you don't know whether this ad copy is good or not with these lines and images so up to five headlines and five different images you can do it that is called dynamic creative you'll be learning in the next video like scroll stopper see facebook people come here to see their friends post they keep on scrolling down what makes the customer to stop over here that ideas you should come up with unique way of uh, showing the ad if it is good definitely they will be stopping on your ad okay right so if you are a new advertiser i suggest you at least put a budget for one month uh assume that you are very small one if you have 5000 also no problem 5000 by 30 distribute in such a way that daily budget if it's less also no problem but run for the longer run but immediately make sure that you do all these things pixels even tracking remarketing lookalike audience custom audience everything you do it definitely out of 5000 you'll be getting a good roi and once you get the profit 40% of them use in marketing again keep on increasing your overall budget so my strategy is when you go with a good budget you will get more sales then again invest on the advertisements so that you'll be getting very good conversions okay in the upcoming videos uh, i'll go to the subject now directly uh, starting with the how to create a page and how to create a business manager account then uh, how to install the pixel custom audience lookalike audience there is a possibility i'll be creating 17 more videos on the facebook only that much of broad uh, this is okay if you have any questions uh, put a comment so that i'll be replying back okay thank you very much guys bye bye